humble lamppost uh, is actually a lamppost which can do more than only lighting. Uh, so it's usable for to be an antenna for Wi-Fi or filled with sensors for air quality or mobility. Uh, it can also be used uh, to load up electric cars, etc., etc. All kinds of things of which we have never thought about. I think it's very important that uh, technology companies and local authorities or national authorities and also universities find each other. And I believe very much that with the new technologies we need far more co-creation, need to do more together to find actually simple solutions for sometimes complex problems. And the only way to do it is to do it together. Our target is to have one million humble lampposts within a few years. And uh, if you look at the number of lampposts used all over Europe, <laughs> it's a huge market. Uh, if I only look in this city, we use thousands and thousands. But probably you don't need to change them all, but you should start somewhere. And of course our aim, my aim at least, is that at the end we don't, we don't put any more just a lamppost but we'd put a lamppost as an item, an instrument, for far more things than only lighting. I've been a member of the high-level group, European Commission on Smart Cities, and there this was one of the projects which we found uh, where companies have to work together with uh, cities too. All those parties have found each other and say, my gosh, why didn't we do that earlier? I think that a humble lamppost is I would say the first thing you have to have in a smart city. 